Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about something that is not very well known in the US. It's called brick pastry dough. And you can rarely find this in the US unless you have a Middle Eastern grocery store nearby. And even then, it's not really guaranteed. Brick pastry dough has many names. Uh, it's feuille de brique uh, in French, uh, bourrec, dule, joule, malsuka, roarca, melaroa. And I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name. The brie pastry dough uh, is, usually comes in sheets. They are usually circular and about, I want to say, maybe 12 to 13 inches in diameter, maybe more. They can be used for sweet and savory dishes. Uh, one of the well-known uses and maybe the most simple is a, an egg brick. Uh, where you essentially break a raw egg in the middle of the sheet and then you fold the sheet and then fry it on both sides. Um, another favorite of mine is uh, a mixture of hard boiled egg, mashed potatoes and smoked salmon together. And again, you fry it and it's delicious. Uh, and then you can squeeze a bit of lemon on top uh, when you're done. <laughs> um, I will show you how to make honey cigars, uh, which can be made for many celebrations. Uh, honey cigars are, are um, brick pastry sheets um, with uh, orange blossom water flavored uh, almond paste in the middle, rolled in the shape of a cylinder, hence the name of cigar, uh, fried and then dipped in a, an orange blossom water flavored honey syrup. The sheet is somewhere between an egg roll wrapper and kind of almost like a crepe. Uh, but not quite. It is a very popular ingredient for people from North of Africa and France. Uh, in the US, many people I know have resorted to substitute this with uh, some specific egg roll wrappers that they found, but honestly, it's not the same thing. Um, the brick pastry dough is very flexible uh, when it's not cooked, uh, and it becomes um, halfway between the neck roll and phyllo pastry dough when cooked. It is very crunchy and it crumbles when you eat it. So I've been in the US for over 20 years. Um, I've had a really hard time finding break pastry dough and it is um, also a crucial ingredient in my family's traditions. So this year I decided to try and make my own break pastry dough. I made several attempts uh, based on recipes I found online, nothing seemed to work, um, so I ended up coming with my own, and that is what I'm going to show you today. You will need some parchment paper, scissors, a dish, an anti-adhesive pan like a crepe pan, a heat-resistant brush, a bowl, a whisk, and some aluminum foil. For 10 large circular sheets or 20 small rectangular sheets, You'll need 250 grams of all-purpose flour, 250 milliliters of water plus 75 milliliters of water, a pinch of salt, and a tablespoon of vegetable oil like canola oil. The brick pastry sheets will be separated by parchment paper to prevent them from sticking to each other. Cut the parchment paper to the size you need based on how big or how small will make the brick pastry sheets. In a bowl, put the 250 grams of all-purpose flour, add the salt and mix. Then add the 250 milliliter of water at once and mix slowly to get a rather smooth mixture. When you see that the batter is starting to resist, I slowly add the additional 75ml of water while mixing slowly. The batter should be smooth, thicker than a crepe batter, and should not contain any lumps. Add one tablespoon of vegetable oil. And 
and mix again slowly until the oil is combined. Put an anti-adhesive pan on low heat. Mine is about 11 inches in diameter. Uh, my gas stove is on a 4, knowing that it goes from 1 to 10, so that should give you an idea of how hot um, the stove is. While the pan is heating up, make sure you have your batter, your brush, a dish lined with one sheet of parchment paper, your pre-cut parchment paper sheets, and your aluminum foil nearby. Once the pan has heated up, take the pan off the heat and use the brush to paint the pan to the shape of your choice. Don't hesitate to fill any holes you might see as you paint the pan. In my case, I want to make honey cigars, so small rectangles are best, um, but I will also show you how to make a round one for the egg brick that I mentioned earlier. Put the pan back on the heat and cook until the liquid parts solidify. A quick way to see is uh, to check the color. As it cooks, uh, the sheet goes from a whitish color to more like a sand color. Once done, let the sheets cool before using them. In my case, I simply leave them covered tightly with aluminum foil at room temperature until the next day. I am now going to show you how to make honey cigars and an egg break. This is what the brick sheets look like after one day. They are still thin and flexible. For 20 honey cigars, you will need 250 grams of almond flour, I prefer blanched, 100 grams of confectioner sugar, one egg white, one teaspoon of almond extract, two teaspoons of orange blossom water. These are the ingredients for the filling. To close the cigars, you will need one egg white. To fry, you will need some vegetable oil, like canola oil. Finally, the honey syrup, you will need 100 grams of liquid honey and two teaspoons of orange blossom water. Put the almond flour in a bowl and mix to break down any lumps. Add the confectioner's sugar and continue to mix. Add the egg white to bind the flour and sugar together. Finally, add one teaspoon of almond extract and two teaspoons of orange blossom flour for flavor. 
all these wet ingredients will finish binding the flour and sugar together. With your hands form a ball and spread to make sure the ingredients are well mixed. Then form a cylinder. Cut the cylinder into 20 equal parts. Take a homemade brick sheet, form a small cylinder with one of the parts made from the filling, place at the top and center of the cylinder, fold the sides toward the cylinder and roll towards you. This will form your cigar. As you place your cigars onto a dish, make sure you put the opening at the bottom to prevent the cigars from opening. Once all the cigars are formed, take each of them and use a brush to seal the cigar with a bit of egg white. Place them again on a plate or a dish with the opening face down. Heat some oil in a pan on medium heat, so in my case uh, I'm on a 6. Once the oil is hot, put the cigars opening face down in the oil. Leave for about 2 minutes, then flip upside down and fry for 2 more minutes. Place the cigars on a cooling rack. You will see that the cigars do not look fully cooked. And that is because I found that putting them in the air fryer helps with the crunch and color and it's healthier. If you don't have an air fryer, don't worry about it. You can just continue cooking them until they look um, a little bit golden. Preheat your air fryer at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about three minutes. Put the cigars in the basket and cook at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 7 to 8 minutes, shaking the basket at about 4 minutes to ensure that the cigars are evenly baked. As you can see, the cigars are now all identical in color. Place the cigars on a cooling rack and let cool for about 30 minutes. When the cigars have cooled, start the honey syrup. Put 100 grams of liquid honey into a small pan. Add two teaspoons of orange blossom water. Put the syrup on low heat and wait for a few minutes until the honey becomes of the consistency of water. Do not let it boil though. Put the cigars into the honey syrup and turn to make sure that all the sides of the cigar absorb the syrup. Do not let the cigars in the syrup for too long as it might make the cigar soggy. Remove the excess syrup and place on a cooling rack. Place on a serving dish. The honey cigars are done and they are deliciously crunchy. To make an egg break, heat up a bit of oil in a pan on medium heat. For me, that's about a 6 out of 10 on my gas stove. Break an egg in the center of the brick sheet and fold the sides onto the center to form a square. Fry for about 2 minutes on each side or until golden. Be careful, the process can be a bit messy and make sure that you don't burn yourself in the process.
I hope you liked the video. If this is the case, please don't hesitate to put the little thumb up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.